Hello, hello everyone. Of course I was going to buy this collection. Of course I was. <laughs> so here is my haul of it. I didn't get everything. Some things were sold out, etc. But I will link to everything. Um, but yeah, this is the Doodlebug Made with Love collection that, as always, is super duper adorable and also I love that it's baking themed and not like a specific you know like Valentine's I mentioned this in the last doodlebook haul I did <laughs> um just with like everything like shipping and manufacturing and all that kind of stuff like it's been harder to get things on time for certain holidays and then doodlebook always releases something kind of for Valentine's ish you know but this can be used anytime and it's baking themed and it's adorable so I got like I said most of it there was a few things I couldn't get I didn't get this there's stamp sets and wafer dies I'll post images so there's the stamp set there's a there's two different stamp sets and then two coordinating wafer die sets I really like the buildable one I think it's really cute and then there was recipe cards which I was trying to get, they sold out, and then I'm just waiting because I want to get the recipe cards. I think they're absolutely adorable. And I just, I have some ideas. But anyhow, as always with Doodlebug, there's the mini 6x6 pack, there's the 12x12, there's all the fun embellishments and the stickers. Let's do the paper first, I guess. So we have the um, Petite Print Assortment, this is 12 by 12 I like getting the 12 by 12 papers. One, because I'm kind of OCD with having to, like the entire collection. But I do like using the Doodlebug papers. You guys have seen me use them in tons of videos. I just use them randomly to make envelopes. You know, because I have the slimline envelope wafer dies and A2 envelope dies. So I like using Doodlebug papers for that because they're double-sided. And the I call these like the plain pack. Just go, like as long as it's a color that matches whatever card I'm making. I was like, oh, I'm using a yellow so I can use, you know, this yellow powder paper. So that's why I like having these, but also cause they're just, they're cute. I love Doodlebug's basic patterns. Cause they've got like the polka dot, they have a gingham, they have the like stripes, etc. So you get kind of a mix of all of that in here as always they have a cross hatch there's a wood green you know just oh, I love it I love it so cute so there's the petite prints and then there's the main big pack this is the um 12 by 12 patterns plus you get a sticker sheet in here as well which is really cute like just adorbs I, I don't know I yeah Doodlebug will always have my heart. I just think this stuff is so cute. So yeah, some of it you could totally use for Valentine's Day or just for whatever. It's got love you and hearts. I love these mixers. <laughs> uh, if my mixer ever dies, I've had the same mixer for well over a decade and it's silver. And if it ever does die, I want to get like an aqua, I think an aqua colored one would be just love. We're pink. Anyway, love it. Got polka dots. You got cute little, like there's a recipe card in here and little things you can do to make, you know, little recipe lists if you wanted or whatever, ingredient lists, that sort of a thing. Also like if you do scrapbook, oh, yeah, for scrapbookers, this is where this stuff is amazing. Cause it's like, you can do like a scrap of layout pictures, like, you know, kids helping bake and all those things. Anywho, I don't scrapbook, it's, just not my thing. Another tag sheet. They've been doing this in a lot of collections. I really like that because then you can just cut, you know, notch off the ends and then you've got these adorable little tags. These ones all would work perfectly for Valentine's, but they'd also work really cute with like a little recipe book. Again, I just have ideas. This cookie one is it? Yeah, <laughs> chocolate chips. <laughs> <laughs> they look like little poop emojis. They're so cute. I love it. I love it. So, yeah. These patterns are all just fabulous. 
Absolutely fabulous. Little stripe, the florals, super duper cute. Same thing. Yeah, yeah, ugh. Yeah, really, really cute. And then, of course, the big 12 by 12 sticker sheet. Really nice, really nice. So that's the 12 by 12 pack. And then of course there's the mini pack, which is always my favorite because these are scaled down in size. So they're more apt for cards and that sort of a thing. But again, they're just either one. They're just fabulous. Like really, really cute. Got little scaled down little tags, all that sort of stuff. So yeah, you get doubles of everything in the six by six pack. There's washi tape, cute little um, paper lace washi tape, which I just thought was adorable. Um, and then the, of course, like just candy hearts. I love the hearts. The washi tape I use most of the time, I use to just decorate my envelopes, regardless of whether I, cause you guys know I hoard my collections. I just collect doodle bug. I love it. Someday if I have a bigger office, I would like, hang it all up on the walls and like turn it into a huge display. Right now it's all in a, just a big drawer and I dive through it every once in a while just to get ideas and that sort of a thing. But yeah, the washi tape I use regardless. I just stick it with my collection of washi tape. I use it for die cutting even, you know, you guys see me hold down my wafer dies with washi tape or I decorate my envelopes with it. So I just like washi tape just cause. It's got that. And then there's the mini icon stickers and the icon stickers. So the big sheet is like a six by 12 and they're all just, um, these are like more cardstock weight. Again, just adorable, adorable. And then the mini one is two sheets, just like so, just slightly smaller. They're still like heavier weight, you know, of stickers. And yeah, I've done, the times I do use my noodle bug, I like using the stickers like on the insides of cards and stuff just to dress it all up. But yeah, this collection I am, I'm thinking about maybe making a couple of little recipe books. Don't hold me to that. The idea is just simmering for now. I don't really do a lot of like 3D altered art, anything like that. Like I just, I like doing cards. But I, idea is simmering, we'll see, we'll see. Um, but yeah, stickers. And then of course, we have the chit chat and the odds and ends. These are just the die cut shapes and you get a ton. So the chit chat is 92 die cut pieces. This is also what kind of got me thinking about doing like possibly a recipe book. Again, this is more stuff you'd use if you're a scrapbooker, but I don't scrapbook. I just like having all the, um, fun things. So you bake me happy. Like, see, like, that would look so cute. A little recipe book. That's also why I want to get those recipe cards. All. And pull that. I'll put a link to them. Like, they're sold out at the moment, but hoping I want to get my hands on them soon. If I get my hands on those, then maybe I will make a couple little recipe books because I think it would just be so cute. Because, yeah, like, these are adorable. Like, there's tons. There's just, there's tons. There's so many. Some are great for um, scrapbooking. Some you could just use for cards, like, hello, there you go. You know, there's words and little speech bubbles and hearts and banners and just ton, tons, tons. Like, oh, look at that little banner, it's so cute. So yeah, you're the icing on the cake, all of it. Like, so happy birthday, you can make birthday cards like that. Yeah, this collection would be really cute for little birthdays because you know, baking themed. Make some cute little cupcakes, that sort of a thing. So that is just the chit chat pack. I'm just gonna put that back in after I'm done filming. And then the odds and ends, 161 die cut pieces. <laughs> There's a lot. Like, there, there's just, there's so many, like, all of those, yeah, like, so, so, so cute, so cute, oh, I love it, 
powdered sugar, brown sugar, flour. <sighs> this stuff is just adorable. Like I just get joy out of like going through this, you know? People like to give me grief and tell me I need to use my dual book collections, but honestly, I genuinely just get joy just, just sitting here and going through. There's a little cocoa salt. You could do an entire little pantry. <laughs> Baking soda and you got icing and vanilla, all of it. Look at that cutting board. It's ridiculous and I love it. I absolutely love oh, oven in this fridge. Ooh, there is a, oh, look at this. Oh, cute. See what I mean? Like, yeah. I could do this all day. I could do this all day, but I still, like I've mentioned in a previous video, I got a ton of laundry to do because it never ends. Don't really get to bake as much anymore. My older kids, thankfully, I've been teaching them to bake and they are amazing little bakers. So they do more of the baking than I do. I do tons of laundry. Anywho, so those. And then, of course, we have. The Doodle Pops, which again, are just adorable. I really love the Doodle Bug um, Doodle Pops because they're all like 3D and they add little like gloss effects and everything to them. So they'll pop them up. They're popped up like with foam dimension. Sometimes they've got several layers, that sort of thing. And then there's little like gloss effects, that sort of stuff. Like these eggs are glossy. It's so cute. So yeah, and they're all just, you just pop them off and they're um, self-adhesive. So there's all kinds of ones of these too. I'll have links to all of them because I think I'm missing at least one. I know I wasn't able to get, and I think I now have it on order, but there's flour and sugar and milk and cookies and sprinkles. The mixer, which is again, beyond adorable. Little icing bags. <laughs> with the little icing, the oven. This would be really cute because you could cut that. You know, if, if someone was going to do like a pregnancy announcement, you could cut that and then have a little, like a little muffin image, you know? That's really cute. And then little, little sprinkle cupcakes. Cute for a birthday card. So the doodle pops. And then of course, there's the fabulous shape sprinkles. Um, we've got the mini jewels, all self-adhesive. I ordered an extra pack of the hearts. I might even have thrown in a couple more in another order just because I like using these again on anything because I like doodle bug colors and I like little heart embellishments to add to cards. And these are just really pretty, the color. I don't know, they're very translucent is the only way I can think, but almost like pearly. I don't know, they're different than some of the other ones they've released and they're really cute. So there's those ones. There's the Baked With Love Shape Sprinkles, again adorable. So all glossy and fabulous and the mixer just I uh, love it. So there's that. There's um, the little sprinkles which again I think I might have ordered another one of these because I thought these would be really cute when you have little cupcake die cuts that sort of a thing and you can just stick these on instead of trying to like draw them or stamp them or whatever and these are already glossy so they're perfect. They're perfect. They're so cute. And then of course we have the cookies which are just adorable. And then the little bitsy chips, they're calling these. Love it. Absolutely all the little like smiley faces. So cute, so cute. So yeah, that is the Doodlebug made with love haul in a nutshell. Like I mentioned, um, I will have a link, like I'll have a link to my blog post directly below the video. In the blog post, there'll be picture links all that kind of fun stuff to make it easier to navigate. I also have a current $5 off coupon code for Simon's the Stamp. Yeah, that doesn't expire till the 1st of March, so it's still valid for another couple weeks. So I will include that in the blog post as well. And yeah, normally I'd say stay tuned to see me make, you know, a bunch of things with this, but I'm going to hoard it for a while. Like I said, I... I have some, I think I have some chipboard in my stash, but I think it's in a box in the garage, possibly. But the idea to make some cute little recipe books as a gift for a couple of special people, I just, the idea has been mulling. And if I do manage to find some of my supplies for that kind of thing, um, I might actually pull it off. If not, I'm gonna just keep hoarding this absolutely adorable collection.
like I always do. <laughs> so thank you guys though so much for tuning in for the, you know, the likes, comments, all of that really helps. All the engagement always. It helps the algorithms and tells YouTube you like what you're seeing. So I very much appreciate it. And then as always, you can click on over to my YouTube channel and see, I have a bajillion videos at this point. So, I, and as always, I will be back very soon with another video. So I will see you all later. Bye.